Today we're going to continue with the series about learning and talk about three different grade study tips. These are just three I know of. If you can think of any others, please leave a text or a video response with some more of your own. Alright, so the first study tip is talking about the length of study. I hear people talk all the time about staying in a library up all night, drinking tons of Red Bull and coffee and whatnot, and really the it's not all that good, to be honest. Actually, there's something called the primary recency effect that basically says that the beginning and the end of a study session are the most important times. You retain the most from them. But there's actually, in the middle, something called downtime. And as a study session gets longer, specifically beyond 20 minutes or so, they, that downtime actually starts to take more and more of a percentage of the time. So. The point here is that after the 20 minutes or so, your study session actually becomes less and less effective. So the way you counter this is to break it up, do something in between your sessions. And it's really just a lot better to have um, several sessions throughout the day of shorter periods of study. And it's a lot more, it, your brain's a lot fresher too, you don't get as tired. Alright, second tip has to do with knowing what kind of learner you are. There, we talk about three modalities in learning. They're called audio, visual, and kinesthetic. Kinesthetic basically being tactile or touching stuff. So basically, you, everybody has a primary, secondary, and tertiary uh, dominance in these three different modal modalities. And my personally, I am visual, then tactile, then audio. And to know what type you are is very important because you can tailor your studying around what type of studier you are. So there's tons of quizzes and stuff online that you can take to find out what kind of person you are, or what, type, what type of learner you are, and you, know, you can pretty much guess for yourself. If you can remember, for example, where information is on a page, then you're probably a pretty heavily visual learner. So if you're, to, you're taking a test and you say, oh yeah, I remember that information being on page you know, 23 and it was in the upper right, you're probably pretty heavily visual. And because I am tertiary audit, audit Auditory, I actually don't learn very well from just hearing stuff. I've got to write it down, I've got to see it on a page, stuff like that. So I tailor my studying around that, and it's important that you do the same in order to get the most out of your study time. And that leads us into the third tip. The third tip has to do with using different types of studying. When you fall into a routine, it's very tempting to just do the same type of studying over and over, but it's actually bad because it limits your ability to transfer. Transfer is a really important topic within learning. Basically, it is your ability to take information from one scenario and put it into another scenario. Like with a foreign language, for example, if you just do flashcards over and over and over, and you're only doing rote rehearsal and no elaborate rehearsal, which is more like reading or having conversations, then when you do get in one of those conversation type of circumstance, you're not going to be able to transfer the knowledge. You basically, your brain gets too attached to situational-based things. Your brain um, gets in flashcard mode. It doesn't actually be able to pick it up like when somebody's saying it. So it's very important to basically come up with different ways to study. Don't just do the same thing over and over. Change it up. And really it's a lot more entertaining too. You should be entertaining yourself with your studying to a certain extent because entertainment essentially translates to attentiveness and again increases the effectiveness of your study. So there you go. Three good basic tips for studying. If you can think of any others, please leave a response or a uh, video response or a textual response. And thanks for your time.